Over the past three days, the situation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kupiansk direction of the front has rapidly begun to deteriorate. After the capture of the village of Krokmon by the armed forces of the Russian Federation, the defense of the Ukrainian army began to crack at the seams along the entire front line of the Kupiansk direction. So, starting from the evening of January 27, war correspondents began to spread information that the Russian army had also managed to capture the nearby villages, Tabayevka and Kotlyarovka. Moreover, according to them, Russian troops also took control of strategic heights near the village of Berestovoy. However, the bad news for the Ukrainian High Military Command and its NATO military advisors did not end there. According to war correspondent Yevgeny Lysitsyn, early in the morning of January 28, assault groups of the 47th Guards Tank Division of the 1st Tank Army of the Russian Armed Forces slipped through the village of Tabayevka and captured strategically important heights east of the village of Peskinoy. Thus, with this daring maneuver alone, Russian troops captured the village of Tabayevka and created an ideal springboard for an offensive on the village of Peskinoy. According to war correspondents, this maneuver of the Russian troops shocked the command of the armed forces of Ukraine. The fact is that the Ukrainian military command was confident that the Russian troops would not dare immediately attack Tabayevka, but would gain a foothold on the heights to the east of this village. Even though, war correspondents from both sides and even Ukrainian internet resources, acknowledged the loss of Tabayevka and Kotlyarovka by the Ukrainian armed forces, the Ukrainian general staff continues to assert that these villages are still under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces, and that allegedly all attacks by the Russian army failed. However, even many pro-government Ukrainian military telegram channels have begun to express skepticism about the statements of the Ukrainian general staff. At the moment, Russian troops are advancing from the east on the village of Peskinoy and conducting offensive operations in the north near the village of Kislavka. In addition, Russian forces are also advancing towards the village of Berestovoy. Observing what is happening, military experts have already begun to call the actions of Russian troops a real breakthrough in the Kupiansk direction. According to them, the advancing Russian troops on Kupiansk from the north and the southeast, will soon force the Ukrainian army to finally leave this strategically important settlement. At the same time, it is worth noting that the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation has not yet given any official statements about the situation in the Kupiansk direction of the front. Most likely, representatives of the Russian military department will report on what is happening in the coming days. Meanwhile, on the night of January 28, Russia launched another missile attack on the territory of Ukraine. This time, the Kharkiv, Zaporizhia, Dnipropetrovsk, Donetsk, and Poltava regions were subjected to missile attacks. An air alert sounded throughout the night in all these regions. It is reported that the strikes were carried out with precision weapons. In particular, we are talking about Iskandarem ballistic missiles and jet-powered geranium kamikaze drones. As a result of today's missile attack in the city of Kremenchuk, Poltava region, an oil refining plant was completely destroyed. In Kharkiv, military facilities were destroyed, where the multiple launch rocket systems of the armed forces of Ukraine were stored. In the Zaporizhia and Dnipropetrovsk regions, NATO weapons depots were discovered and destroyed, where recently delivered missiles for the remaining Western air defense systems were stored.
In the city of Konstantinovka, Donetsk region, a military facility of the armed forces of Ukraine was destroyed, where the personnel of the Ukrainian army were stationed. According to preliminary data, as a result of this missile attack on Konstantinovka, the Ukrainian armed forces lost about 70 Ukrainian soldiers and 8 units of heavy equipment.